He's a gifted concert violinist and chamber musician. Dr. Quentin Morris started playing as a child and over time noticed a pattern. I've always been either the only black or the only person of color in many of the performance spaces um, that I have been in. So Quentin set out to change that for others. And for this role, he is using a different instrument, his voice. That was William Grant Still's romance for alto saxophone and piano. Quentin is hosting a new show on Classical King FM called Unmute the Voices. Because there hasn't been a strong representation in our sym symphonies and our operas and just the classical music sphere as a whole, it's really important for us to create a show like Unmute the Voices where we can not only just highlight the great work that these people are doing, but also to celebrate their accomplishments. William Grant still was uh, consider the Dean of African American Composers. He's and what laid the foundation for this type of show, according to King FM CEO Brenda Barnes, it was after the killing of George Floyd. We're in a field that has hundreds of years of exclusion, hundreds of years. And uh, it's just not acceptable to go on in that mode any longer. He's much more brilliant. Much it's an issue Quentin started addressing himself through his nonprofit Key to Change. It offers high quality music instruction and development to underserved youth. But Unmute the Voices addresses some other barriers. We learn about composers who were not able to break in to the classical music world and we need to let people know that those are really great composers, they're great pieces, we don't know them and we should know them. Composers like Florence Price who published music but only one orchestra has recorded one of her pieces. Representation does matter. It's not just your European 18th century white man who have contributed to the great classical music genre. They are not the only ones. And that's why this show is important so that we understand that diversity does exist in classical music. At the end of the day, it's just great music. And who doesn't like great music?